And with that, we've made it to the world map. And we can now head off to the village. Let's go cash in those music sheets. Alt! No weapons! We have enough to worry about late with everyone swinging their swords around. Oh, haha, <laughs> that's no weapon, just a shovel. You may answer then, don't forget. Press up to talk to everyone. I'll hit you with my shovel! So, welcome to the village. This guy is the bard. Hail, traveler, I am but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire retro pair lays scattered around the land. If you find a music sheet, return it to me and I will reward you. Handsomely. I don't know a reward to be handsome. So, for each individual music sheet you have, he'll pay you 500 gold. And we found Stride the Earth. Ah, Ostinito Trumplet Trimplets. Is there anything you can't render into pure magic? I have this music sheet I can perform for you anytime. Just ask. So, by talking to the bard, he can play you some sounds, or some songs from the various soundtrack. Two we picked up were Stride the Earth and The Rival. Destroy the Earth was the first, um, well, the level theme from the first level. So we can listen to that anytime we want now, but I'm just gonna have him play the normal village, uh, normal village music. Just while we run around here. This is kind of Castlevania-like. Every time you hit this thing, it'll drop down some potions for you to restore your mana. Which you basically use to use relics. We don't have any of those right now, so I'll talk about them a bit later. Over here, though, we have the Gastromere. What is in pottery, mutton and meat? Your maximum health will increase if you eat. And hey, that did rhyme. Congratulations, you get a cookie. Bring a meal ticket and I'll whip up a feast. Gotishin might have some. Now where's that sly beast? Gotishin, they, 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 they tried. They, they really tried. Want more use out of your relics? Oh yes, of course. I can uh, increase your maximum magic. Good. Oh, but no relics yet? What? I, I can't. You have to find some relics. So this lady will increase your maximum magic to use relics, and this guy will increase your maximum health. And this is... You know, tradition. I tried, didn't I? Ah, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic, or health, or just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? So, go tradition. Yeah, stupid name. This guy will sell you meal tickets so you can increase your maximum health. They're not too expensive right now, but later on they will get more pricey. Then you just hand them into this guy, and he will cook you up some food. Which looks kind of ridiculous. And what'd you make me? That looks like a stuffed whale. Whatever. So you see there, my life just increased. Also down here is the bar. Juice made. Ah, new face. Dancers, acolytes, witches, goats. Uh, that's a stupid name. Everyone's welcome in here. We also have the dancer. Ooh, that's Spectre Knight. If someone could defeat him, I would have stowed upon him my greatest treasure. We also have a king here. Oh, who was me? The king of nothing. Not to rule my lone bar stool. <laughs> ah, such a stupid line. <laughs> king Knight sits on Primador's throne. That gilded goon, he'll get his soon. Why, are, why is everyone rhyming? Grab the swamp. Double trouble. Prepare for trouble and make it double team rockets blasting off at the speed of light. So this person will tell you all your max meme stats. Thanks for helping me, kindly witch. I'm not a witch! Yep, sorry, run, run, run. And then here's the main shop area, and then there's this guy. Hey, Shovel Knight. I know things are tough, but don't throw in the trowel! Hey, Sua! Shut up, Croaker. So, this is Croaker, as I like to call him Bad Punfrong. That King Knight, you give him an inch, he thinks he's a ruler! Hey, see what I did there! Or I guess we could just call him Chuck Conroy. I traveled with some horse adventures, but they're also negative. Oh, you're so horrible. I was afraid as I jumped over the bomb pit, but then I got over it. I wondered why the Black Knight shovel was getting bigger. Then it hit me! Oh, you're awful. We also have this person here, which is Trapla Colite. Hello, fish friend. All hail the Trapla King. Who? You're on some major crack. Never heard of the Trapla King? Half trout and half owl. Pronounced like this. Mouthful. So, Trapla King. Okay. He's one of the forest gods. He all those in need. I'm telling the truth. Go visit the sacred grotto. Hold your chalice aloft, and the Trapla Knight will appear. As it happens, I've been entrusted to sell Trapla chalices, believers. Would you like one? So we can buy Trapla chalices from this person. They're used for holding icors, which you get from the Trapla King. So we'll go check that place out a little bit later. Hey, blue guy, you won't believe the merchandise I've got for you today. Get away from me, creepy! 
And this is Chester. He will sell you various relics for you to use magic on. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the Chaos Spear right now. It's the first attacking relic. You can also get a fishing rod for you to fish up some items with. There are certain bombless pits and levels which you can only get the items inside of them if you use the fishing rod. I'm gonna steal this kid's toy. Haha! -ha! Oh, I'm so evil. You really the shovel knight proof by digging up this dirt. Okay. Simple enough. Wait, where's my gold? And now he's dancing. There's also this person. You can actually stand on her back and jump up here. And this is how you get up to this treasure chest and the music note appear. This stumped a lot of people for a very long time. I've actually seen a lot of Let's Plays where people just don't get this at all because they have no idea how to get up. Because you can't jump on this thing normally. So you have to pretty much wait for her to get near it and then jump on her back. A lot of people thought you had to jump on this ring thing and that was the secret to getting up, but no, it's not. I'm the fastest. No one can outrun me, even though I can outrun you by walking. Oh well, don't wanna... Actually, I wanna crush his dreams and make him cry. Let's go to the travel pond. Oh my god. It's happening! Who has awakened me, mortal? Thou stony aid? Aid me, please, you beautiful creature! I sense a travel chalice. I can fill it with magical ichor. That's pronounced Ikor. I knew that, I knew that, but it's okay. Beautiful, beautiful creature. Choose your Ikor wisely. So we can select one of three Ikors here. We have the Ikor of Renewal, which refills all of our health and magic. The Ikor of Baldness, which makes us invincible for 10 seconds. And the Ikor of Fortune, which can absorb nearby treasure for 60 seconds. In my opinion, the Ikor of Renewal is the most useful one. So let's go with that. Subjects. A new intimate joins us. The ceremony shall now commence. It's adorable! I love that scene. Fare thee well, Shovel Knight. Return if thou hast need of my aid again. Ah, oh, that's so brilliant. So, we visited the village and we got our first eye course. This seems like a good enough place as any to leave this episode off. Next time on Shovel Knight, we'll be heading off to Prime Door Keep and taking care of King Knight. There was someone in the village talking about him, so let's go kill him. I'll see you guys then.